Hello, my name is Vincent. Um, well, let me check uh, audio is recording. Um, just want to let you all know that today is a Windows 8 final release uh, review on the um, operating system. As you can tell down here, this is Windows 8 release preview. That's pretty much just before it came comes out um, <clears throat> shortly. Um, the main aspect of this that you are going to notice that the computer may be running slow a little bit. It'll be kind of laggy. Uh, that's because my graphics card actually had to be sent back to, uh, for repairs. And I'm currently using a uh, cheap replacement for it. So it's going to be running a little bit slow, so bear with me. Um, I do apologize for for running uh, laggy on you. <clears throat> but anyways, let's get started uh, straight into uh, the features and stuff like that of Windows 8. Uh, first off, this is the actual desktop to Windows 8, uh, which pretty much looks the same, including the taskbar, which I have mine at the top, but it, it's usually at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> The one thing that you'll notice that's major different is the taskbar. If you actually look up here at the taskbar, it looks the same, with the exception of if you go all the way down here, there's no start button. Uh, Microsoft opted to re remove the start button uh, for Windows 8 and replace it with a new interface called Metro. And uh, Metro is pretty good. It's not too bad. Uh, it's it's not bad, really. It's not. Um, but for the first time really in Windows is you get to use the Windows key for an actual feature within Windows, which is the first. Um, but Windows, the Windows key has always been used in Windows. A lot of people just don't use it. Um, but it usually opens up the start menu. It does, uh, it's a similar function with uh, Windows 8. Now, um, now I'm going to hit the start button. And it brings up into the Metro interface. This here is a live interface of the entire uh, computer system. It gives you your email up here, your calendar, Internet Explorer, your store where you can buy stuff, uh, people that you may or may not know, which I don't know any of those people. Uh, a couple of them in there I do. Photos, uh, maps, SkyDrive, messaging, video, music, your weather, travel, uh, your Dow Jones uh, finance uh, app. Down here is your news app, and right next to that, sports. You got camera. Yeah, uh, this is the editing software I'm using to record this, uh, and a shot of your desktop, as well as Xbox Live games. Uh, up in up in this corner here, which um, I haven't updated the picture, which I will. Oh, and that popped up over there. That's actually not a feature. But when you click on this, you can actually lock your screen. I don't know if I can, if it'll disconnect me or not, uh, because I could show you. Uh, but you can change your account pictures and all that stuff with it. First off, we're going to go into one other feature which popped up over here uh, recently. Then we'll go through some of these apps. But over here, if you actually hover either up here at this corner, this will pop up. Or if you can go down here to this corner, this will pop, it'll pop up over here. Now, I'll explain that in a second. Or on this corner over here, something similar will pop up, see? And if you actually scroll down along the edge of the screen, another menu pops up. The recently opened stuff. So let's start over here. Let's hover right there. Come down. First, we have search. In search, list all your apps on your computer. Apps being that of programs that's accessible on your computer. Uh, you can get <clears throat> all your programs. Um, you can also uh, bring up, I think, search. There we go. You can bring up search and search your apps, your settings, your files, um, everything that's on your computer. Uh, you can search it. Um, let's go back. And I'm not going to go through all this, um, but that's pretty much what it is. Let's go uh, back to um, Metro and go to the next one, Share. Uh, share, there's nothing to share because I don't. I have sharing turned off, so I can't really show, my, show you my share. Right here, of course, is your Start button. Um, down below that is Devices. I don't have any devices connected <clears throat> currently right now, but if you would have like a, uh, a tablet, a Windows 8 tablet, or 
um, I think a, any any kind of tablet, it'll actually show up in here. Um, next one down, below that is your settings. This is where you can access uh, information on your tiles. Um, you know, your help, your start button, which is grayed out. Down here, you have networking, um, which, you know, just says I'm connected, which I am. Uh, of course, right there's your volume level. Um, right here is your backlight. This is if you have a tablet, you can adjust the backlight um, to your tablet. Right here is your notifications area. Um, hide for eight hours, three hours, one hour, whichever. Uh, right here where it says power, <coughs> you can access that until your computer goes to sleep, shut down, and restart. Uh, right next to that, if you have a keyboard for your tablet, I think that's what that's for. Uh, but under here we have change PC settings. This is for um, Windows Metro, not at, uh, not necessarily for your desktop uh, and, and updates. Um, right here you can access like you know change the background if you want a different background, whichever you know you can change your background. I prefer this one. Um, for some odd reason, weather just does not like showing up on my uh, thing here. I'm trying to adjust it, see if it will. Doesn't look like it will. Huh. What's this? There we go. This is for detail status, which, uh, you know, you'll have to find out on your own because I don't want to go to the lock screen and have to sign back in. But below that's your users. You can have multiple users. Uh, normal thing. Notifications. Any notification that you get. Uh, you can turn on on and off like calendar if you don't want that on, or if you don't want mail on, you can turn those off one at a time. <clears throat> of course, your search options. Uh, things that you can search and not search. Uh, your share options. Who do you want to share with? You know, that's what this is for. <clears throat> General. Uh, right now it has me listed as uh, Pacific Time. I'm actually on Eastern. So um, let's get that straightened up real quick. Uh, Eastern Time. Um, app switching and all that stuff. You know, this is where you delete your history and things like that. Privacy. Uh, devices. Which is currently no devices uh, connected. Which if I want to, I can go ahead and add the FA GoFlex disk, which is my hard drive, my printer. Uh, that's pretty much what this is for. Ease of access center is back. Sync and uh, settings. Sync your settings. Um, home group. Which you now you can set up a home group. Windows update. Um, yeah, there's four important updates right now. But let's go uh, back to the start. That's pretty much it on this. Now over here. As I was saying, there's not really much to explain, but you can remove these if you want. Like, I usually just close them out um, when I don't need them. Whoops. Yeah, I was at Google Mail earlier. Gmail, I mean. Alright, must have did it. Alright, next thing we're going to go through is your actual... Um, uh, uh, apps here. <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were called. So in the next part we're going to go through the apps and uh, show you what's what. So uh, stay tuned for part two of this video and um, I do greatly appreciate it. Have a good day and I'll see you on part two. Oh and by the way the parts will be posted as, uh, as quickly as possible. Most likely all at one time. So, But until uh, then I'll see you at part two.